Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my What I Got For Christmas 2017 Makeup Edition. Now last year I did my Lip Balm Edition one, but as you can probably tell, I'm a little more into makeup now, so I didn't really get any lip balm for Christmas. The majority of my Christmas presents were actually makeup because that's what I asked for. And I'm really, really excited to show you all the amazing stuff that I got. So let's just get right into this. So first, I guess I'll start out with eyeshadow palettes. So I got two different palettes from Too Faced. I got the white chocolate bar palette, which you probably saw in my Black Friday haul. And then I got the um, Clover palette. And these two palettes are so, so pretty especially the white chocolate bar these are more like colors that i will probably use like lighter colors i love that purple color which is lavender cake i think it's so pretty um love the shades in here and then the clover palette i'm gonna be completely honest with you i kind of just wanted it for the packaging because look at that but the colors are actually really pretty not exactly my cup of tea However, it will be cool when I want to like step out of my comfort zone a little. And my favorite shade is definitely this one right here. That one is Daddy's Love Me. Um, I wore that one on Christmas Day. I love it because I wear lots of burgundy. Next up, I got the Kat Von D Saint and Sinners palette. This palette I just think is so beyond cool. Some of the shades in here are so shimmery and gorgeous like that top pink one, Rapture. Oh my gosh, that was like the one that sold me on the palette. Also, I love that olive green because, as you know, I also wear a lot of olive green, so I wear a lot of olive green eyeshadow. And my favorite thing about this palette is probably that half the names are like religious names. So this side is like religious, and then this side is like the satanic names, I guess. I don't know, I just think it was really, really cool. I love the packaging, even though it is very big and bulky. Um, it's well worth it for the colors that you get in here. I think they're all gorgeous, every single one, and yeah. This next palette has me absolutely shook. My very first Morphe palette, I decided to get the 35B Color Burst because, as you probably know, I tend to wear very neutral eyeshadows, and I actually don't really own many colorful eyeshadows. So I thought when I wanted to do like a cool look or something, this would be very, very useful because for Christmas I wanted to do like a cute little like red, white, and green, but I had no red eyeshadow, like this type of red, and I had no green eyeshadow at all. So that didn't end up working, so I was like, I need this in my life just to have. I'm actually wearing this shade right here on my lids today. So yeah, I just thought that would be a good little thing to have. And then finally for the eyeshadows, I have two of the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Quads. Um, I actually have a third one, but I didn't get that one for Christmas. Um, we have the Plum and Rust. So this one is probably my favorite, is the Plum one. I love these colors together. I just think the um, combination of all four of them is going to be so gorgeous. And then we have Rust, which is a little bit boring and I'm not in love with that orange shade but the rest of them are pretty nice and just like neutral. Continuing with Kat Von D, I actually have two different brushes. First I got the number four powder highlight brush because the highlight brushes that I use are all like fan type brushes and I don't have anything that'll really pack on the product like this. So I wanted a really nice highlight brush and I just thought this one was so pretty and I love it. It's also really, really soft. And then I also got this one, which is the Shade and Light Contour Brush. And it is double-ended. And it comes in this really, really nice case. This is like a really nice brush. And on the inside here, we have the shade side and the light side. Now, this one is extremely similar to the highlight brush, but whatever. And this contour brush is going to be so nice. This is the exact type of brush I use to do my contour, so I'm really excited to try that out. Next up, I have this Too Faced Unicorn Survival Kit. Oh my gosh, when this came out, I died a little on the inside just because the highlight. Oh my gosh. First in here, we have this little baby 
Too Faced Unicorn Tears Lipstick. It is seriously the tiniest thing I've ever seen and it's so cute. Um, it comes with a decent amount of product though. That's how much it comes with. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty and it comes with the mini melted latex as well which i'm not a huge fan of the melted latex i prefer the melted matte but um these are still fun to have for like different looks and stuff but this is the real reason i got it we have a little baby unicorn tears highlighter and let me just swatch this for you oh my gosh i love that so much and the bag is so cute too i think that thing only retails for like 25 dollars, which is crazy also i know it's like a huge mess in the back i apologize but it's christmas so that happens i just realized i forgot one little eyeshadow palette i have the tarte mini buried treasure palette this thing is so pretty i love this especially the burgundy of course Okay, now let's move on to highlighters. The first highlighter that I got is actually my very first Becca highlighter. Oh my gosh, even the box is like so glowy. Um, but this is the um, Ulta exclusive one, I believe. It is Lilac Geode, I want to say. I'm wearing it today, but I only put a tiny bit on so it's not like crazy blinding. Um, but I think if you pack this on... It'll be really crazy. Here it is. It looks very, very pink in the pan. It doesn't come off that pink. Even when you swatch it, it looks very pink. But when I put it on my face, it was not as pink as it is on my hand. See right there? It's very pink, but that's not really how it came out, as you can see. Next up, I have this humongous Tarte Goddess Glow Highlighter. Look how huge this thing is. If I could open it. There it is. It's like the size of my head. It's huge and it's so, so pretty. I don't really have that many. Oh my gosh, I got that everywhere. I just did like the biggest dip into that thing. But there it is right there. I know my swatches are like actually like depressing. They're so bad. But um, this thing is so, so pretty. I don't really have that many gold highlights. Next up, I have this Laura Geller uh, Baked Gelato Swirl Highlighter. This one is in the shade... This one is in the shade Diamond Dust, and seriously, this has to be the prettiest highlighter I've ever seen in my life. Just look at that thing in the pan. It, like, reflects purple, but it's, like, pearl. I, I don't even know. And to like rub your finger in it feels so cool because it's like a swirl. And there it is. But my swatches are really bad. <laughs> it is really, really tiny though. It's only four and a half grams of product, which is not very much. But it's really cool. Next up, I have the Mary Luminizer from The Balm Cosmetics. I've really always wanted to try stuff from this brand just because it's so adorable, but I've never ended up giving in. Ugh, some of these are so hard to open, which I don't really like. So here it is. This one is just like a classic. It's kind of like a staple to have in your collection, and I didn't have it, which is sad. Ugh, it's so pretty. Look at that. That's a good swatch. I mean, it's not good, but it's better than my other ones. And just the packaging is so adorable. I can't. And then I have a bunch of highlighters from Wet n Wild. So first I have the Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. I really just got this because I kind of, I've come to the point where I kind of collect Wet n Wild highlighters now. So because it's so inexpensive, I just got it even though I'm not really going to reach for these as much. I really want to take all my, um... Wet n Wild highlighters and depot them all and make like a huge palette of them. I think that'd be the coolest thing. Because I have so many of these little compacts and they just sit in my drawer taking up space. But I got the three full. <laughs> but I got the 314B Diamond Lily. This one I thought was really cool because I don't really have a silver highlight. I have a lot of white highlights. But nothing really silver, and this caught my eye on the website. It was brand new. Oh no, <laughs> I just stuck my nail in it. But it said it was brand new, and I was very intrigued. And I haven't actually swatched this one yet, so let's go in. 
Okay, wow, this one's very silver metallic and I seriously don't have anything like this. So I see myself using this a lot. And then I have the two from, I think like the Valentine's Day collection from 2017, which for some reason it seems like it was yesterday, but apparently it was almost a year ago. We have 34881, the sweetest bling and 34882 lilac to reality okay so moving on i only got ah okay so moving on i only got one blush because i don't really wear blush that often i'm actually not wearing any today which i usually wear with this like pink look but i forgot because it's just not really part of my routine anymore um but this is the full size tart party blush and oh my gosh if i ever wear a blush it's this one and I'm not sure which video is going up first, if it's this one or my favorite makeup, but in my favorite makeup video, I actually snapped my mini version, so rip to that, but now I have the big one, but I kind of want to try to depot it just to save the product, because I'd hate to throw it out, because there's still a ton of product left. But here it is. It is literally just the perfect blush for my skin tone. It suits me so, so well. It's not too pink and it's not too nude. It's like the perfect in the middle and I just love it. So next I have, oh my gosh, something that I've wanted for so, so long. It is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Now I did have the travel size and I was using that one for a while. But this is literally like four times the size of it. I'm not even exaggerating. And the mini one only lasted me about two months. And I don't really think it was that worth it. I think it's more worth it to invest in the bigger one. Um, oh my gosh. Because I, I didn't even realize how huge it was. But this thing is ginormous. And this is really just like the best powder out there. And then the last like face thing that I have is the Boss. Bosha. I call it Bosha, but I think it's like something else. I don't know, but it's the luminizing black peel off charcoal mask. I you saw this in my Black Friday haul. I've been wanting this forever and now I have it and I'm so excited to do it tonight. Now the rest of the items in this box are all lipsticks or glosses or liquid lipsticks or etc. So the first thing that I'm so beyond excited for is my very first Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick. No, I didn't get a lip kit because I don't line my lips ever. I don't feel the need to. It doesn't really do much for me. So I got Malibu, which is the one I've had my eye on since she released her liquid lipsticks. I always just thought this one would be so pretty, and it is. Now, I'm not going to go through and swatch every single lipstick that I got, but I am just going to swatch this one because, ugh, it's so pretty. It reminds me so much of Daddy from Jeffree Star and, like, the Manny collab. It also slightly reminds me of a slightly darker version of Mannequin, which is my all-time favorite liquid lipstick. Next up, I have this MAC Very Valuable Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color Kit number one. This one came with three different liquid lipstick shades. We have this very bright Barbie pink shade. I have this really dark brown shade that I don't think is going to suit me very well. But then we have this lighter brown that also reminds me very, very much of Mannequin. So I'm excited to try this one. Uh, probably not really going to use this one, but this one I'll use like special occasions and I also almost forgot I have another MAC lipstick which is from the Patrick Star collection almost called it Jeffree Star Patrick Star collection and this lipstick the packaging oh my gosh the letters are hollow and this shade is so pretty it kind of reminds me a little bit of this one which is the Nicki Minaj one I don't remember what it's called, but um, it almost reminds me of a little slightly more nude version of it, and I really, really like it. This one is She Better Work. Oh my gosh, but could this packaging be any cuter? I actually can't. Next up, I have a Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Rebel. Speaking of packaging, this is probably one of the most adorable lipstick packages I've ever seen well one of my personal favorites 
it has the lips and then it says on the other side lipstick is my vice and oh my gosh this shade it's like a metallic nude and I am absolutely obsessed and then the last little lip set I have is this Lime Crime Diamond Crushers mini set. I'm actually wearing one of them on my lips right now. Did it fade at all? I think I've, been, I've had it on for like over an hour, so I don't know. But I wore this one, which is Choke. And these are all so gorgeous. I don't really have any lip toppers, and I've never really tried them. But it's kind of one of those things where you don't really know what you're missing until you try it. Because, oh my gosh, I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing these like every single day. Next, I have the Lipstick Queen Lipstick Color Changing in Hello Sailor. I do have my frog prints, which I absolutely love. Um, I kind of just wanted this one more for novelty. I don't love the color of it as much as I love the frog prints, but I'm gonna swatch it for you and then we'll see. We'll wait a few seconds and let it turn. See, that's kind of what it turns on me. Not really my favorite. It's definitely not the color it is in the stick, so it does change color, just not the most gorgeous shade on me. But I kind of just wanted to like add it to the collection. I don't know. I just think they're so cool. They like blow my mind. Next we have the Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang number 216. Love this lipstick. One of the first lipsticks I ever fell in love with when I got it as my birthday gift last year. Just look at this shade. This is so pretty. It's one of those pinks that just like really, really suits me. Okay, uh, second to last, I have these three Kat Von D studded kiss lipsticks. We have Lovecraft, Lolita, which I know is like their most famous one, I think, and then Motorhead. This one is Lovecraft. I really, really like these. I'm starting to realize that a lot of them look exactly the same. <laughs> But these are the shades that I wear. I don't wear like bright pink or bright red. Like I, this is what I wear. And I love the packaging on these. Even though they don't fit in my lipstick holder, I just love them. Here's Lolita, which I also love. And then this last one is Motorhead, which I'm a teensy bit iffy on. On the sticker, it looks like it'd be more of like a fuchsia pink, but in the tube, it's very dark. Wait. I changed my mind. I actually, <laughs> I hadn't swatched it yet. I hadn't really swatched any of these yet, but I just swatched it and it came out almost looking a little bit like Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And now I like it a lot more. <laughs> and then finally, I have probably some of my favorite presents from my entire Christmas haul, which are my Jeffree Star Velour Liquid lipsticks if you've been watching my channel for a little while um i'd say you'd probably pick up on the fact that these are my favorite lipsticks of all time i wear one of these pretty much every single day it's usually mannequin because mannequin is my favorite lipstick shade of all time so i got one two three four five six seven eight m's in my bank account yeah in my bank account nine ten different shades so first i took out the ones that were in the like classic pink boxes we have one of their most famous ones which is unicorn blood i just think this looks so gorgeous when i see it on like instagram people <laughs> and i'm like maybe i can be like them then of course i had to get another mannequin because if i ran out of this i don't think I'd ever leave the house again. Then we have another famous one, which is Androgyny. Then we have Deceased, which didn't they say this one's like named after John Cookie or something? I don't know. I don't believe that. It was one of the drama channels. They were like, oh my gosh, they named it after me, but I don't know. And then finally we have Doll Parts, which actually looked a lot brighter online, but I'm, I was a little iffy about it when I bought it, but now that I see it and it's a little bit like darker than I thought, I'm a lot more comfortable with it. Next, we have another one from the permanent line, but it came in this really pretty blue box. It is the abused one. Don't ask me why I thought it was a good idea to get this, but I just, I don't know. I've always wanted navy blue lipstick, and I thought, what better one to get 
than Jeffree Star because you know it's gonna be full coverage, you know you're only gonna need two layers max. And I don't know, I just, I also really, really wanted, um, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? What's the black one called? Why can't I remember? Oh my gosh, I've literally been stalking this thing on their website for like the past three months. What is it called? I'm gonna put the name here because it's really, really bothering me. But they did have the um, navy blue one in stock, which was exciting and I surprisingly wear quite a bit of navy blue, so I'm excited to wear this. Because I don't really wear very much dark lipstick, so I think it'd be like kind of cool to switch it up a little. Then I did get one from the family collection. I got Delicious, which I think is really pretty. I really like it. It's like kind of a purpley brown. I don't really know how to describe this. Like a grayish brown? I don't know. I just think this is really, really pretty, and I love the light pink cap. And then, finally, we have the... Is this hollow? Yeah, this is hollow. The hollow packaged ones, which are two from the Christmas collection, one from the past summer collection. The one from the summer collection is Family Jewels, and I really, really like this. It's like a reddish type nude. I don't know. Really, really pretty. Um... I did try the butt naked one from the summer collection because I got it free with my um, full coverage queen t-shirt but that one was a flop for me. It was way too orange for my skin so I don't really use that one. So I wanted to give another one from the summer collection a shot and since I'm not adventurous enough to wear like, what's it called? Um, you Better Work or the um, Venus Flytrap one, I just decided to keep it safe and get this one. And then the two from the Christmas collection, which are probably the most gorgeous lipsticks I've ever seen in my entire time on this earth. Oh my gosh. I got Christmas Cookie and Human Nature. Now I'm not sure if you're getting the full effect on camera, but in person these are actually the most gorgeous things I think I've ever seen. And I mean, I've looked in the mirror. That was a joke, I'm trash. But these are seriously, oh my gosh. They're so sparkly, but you don't feel the glitter. It's not like rough like glitter. Um, Christmas cookie is probably my favorite one that I got out of all of them, <laughs> just because it, it reminds me of mannequin. Um, but I, oh my gosh, I love this. And then human nature is actually really pretty too. It's also very like, nude kind of like a brownish mannequin i don't know i compare everything to mannequin because it's literally right in the center of nude lip shades i can't believe it's over but there you guys go thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to smash that like button drop a comment on what you want to see next and press that subscribe button right there to become a member of the lippy squad because you guys are the bomb and I hope you all had great holidays. Um, if I don't see you before, then I hope you have a happy new year and I will see you in the new year, which is insane that I'm even saying that because um, 2017 came and went in like two seconds. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.